Do you hear my stomach growling? That was disgusting. If you like shimmer, it's... <laughs> Molly? No, ma'am. I'm at Chestnut. It's my, you hear my stomach? Oh my gosh, it's rude, Amanda. Hey guys, so first things first, I have a vlog channel. Say what? I'm so excited. I will link my channel down below. It's youtube.com slash Amanda and Zing. And guess what? My first video is up. Hey, hey. So I'm gonna link my vlog channel right here as well as in the description bar. Please subscribe. I hope you guys like it. Nothing's gonna change on this channel. I'm just gonna kick it into high gear and try to do at least one video a week on my lifestyle channel. My first video is one that is highly requested on this channel. So if you wanna see what it is, go ahead and head over there. I know a lot of you guys are probably interested in seeing that video because I get a ton of requests for it. You like how I'm being so mysterious about it? But go head over there, I hope you like, and let's go ahead and get started with this video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you what's in my MAC eyeshadow palette. I always get a lot of questions during my tutorials of what's in here because there are some colors in here I use on a regular basis, so I figured what better day than today to do this video. So my first shadow in the palette is Soft Brown. Most people have this if you're into MAC eyeshadows. It's a good staple color. I use this as a transition color, which means it just helps blend darker colors upward so it looks more airbrushed and more like a gradient from dark to light. Most skin tones can use this. If you're really tan up to ebony skin tones, you're probably not gonna be able to use this as far as a transition color because it's just not gonna show up. But Anywhere from light to medium skin tones, this is a must have and it's a perfect everyday color. Whenever I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup, I will go and just put this in my crease and head out the door. Next is Saddle and this is one of my favorite colors for MAC. It's just a notch up from soft brown and it's a little bit warmer. I love this also as a transition color, a crease color, and all over the lid color. It's just like a perfect everyday brown. So for those of you who are tanner, Saddle will definitely show up. It's just a staple in my collection and I think everyone should have this color. Next is All That Glitters. This is just another one of those everyday colors. I used it in my back to school makeup tutorial. I used it I think in my everyday summer routine last year. It's a gorgeous champagne with a little hint of rose gold in it. It's more on the peachy side and it just makes your lids look beautiful and natural. So if you're someone who doesn't like to wear a lot of eyeshadow or you're in a hurry or you just like natural makeup, all That Glitters is a perfect color for that. So this, again, is All That Glitters. Definitely a must-have. Next, I have Woodwinked, which is more of an antique to gold with a little hint of like brown undertones. And it looks a lot darker in the pan than it shows up on my skin. This is another color I've worn in a lot of my tutorials just because it really warms up the eye. So if you like gold, you will love Woodwinked from MAC. This is my favorite gold that they have. Next is Satin Taupe, which I know is a big favorite from a lot of people. I don't get as much use out of it as I should just because because I gravitate more towards warm colors. But this is just a taupe, kind of like a purpley undertone, some silver in there. Gorgeous for people with blonde hair, people with blue eyes, people with green eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. This again is satin taupe. Next is texture. This is a peachy brown with a little bit of shimmer, kind of like a sheen, but it doesn't really show up on the eyes, at least on me. So I use this in the crease a lot. And it's a velvet finish, which means it's super, super soft and velvety and silky. This is the softest and easiest shadow to blend for MAC that I own. The difference between this and Saddle is that this is a little bit more orange, a little bit more peachy. So if you're really fair, Oh my gosh, and if you have red hair, I think this would be a gorgeous transition color. But again, this will work from anyone from like more fair up to tan skin tones. This is texture. Next, I have Swiss Chocolate, which has a little dent in it because I love this color. This is more of a reddish brown, but it's not really warm. It's more on like the neutral side, so it's muted a little bit. It's a matte finish, but I find this is kind of hard to build up unless you're using it in the crease. Like, I will swirl my brush in there to get a lot of color. I don't know know if it's this one in particular or just mine, but my only issue with it is it's sometimes hard to get a lot of pigment, but once you get that color built up, this is a beautiful crease color. If you like warm colors, you will love Swiss Chocolate by MAC. Next is Amber Lights, and this is an amazing 
color if you like gold and bronzy colors. This is a really vibrant peachy gold. Like it's very stark, it's very out there. I love to use this wet and I love to use it on the center of my eyelid. It just makes your lids pop. And if you use it like on top of a brown or a bronze, it just like amps up everything. Absolutely gorgeous, especially for summertime. This is Amber Lights. Next, I have Antiqued. And this is a color I've been pulling for a lot this summer. I've been wearing it in a lot of videos, and I'll probably film a tutorial with it soon. It's a perfect summer night color, and it's also a really good fall color. It's kind of like a reddy brown e bronze shade. Does that make sense? It's really warm and coppery, but it still has those brown undertones. I love this all over the lid and then I'll pop some of amber lights right in the center and it's just like bam like it just does something to my eyes I don't know what it is let me know if you guys want a tutorial because I absolutely love it that's what I was wearing in my makeup geek blushes video a lot of you guys were asking so this is antiqued by Mac definitely one that I feel like is underrated and everyone should have next is mulch and this was the first eyeshadow I ever bought for Mac and I was looking for that perfect everyday brown shade and if you like shimmer this is definitely it I love Love putting this all over the lid and just smoking out my eyes and it just pulls out the honey in my brown eyes and makes them look really dimensional and sultry perfect for like a date night next is ho and this is a shadow that does not get enough love for me it kind of looks like I use it but it's just a chip from my nail when I was removing it from the palette this is a really rosy brown color with kind of like a purpley undertone in it the reason I don't use it as much is because I don't really wear purples a lot I don't wear a whole lot of cool tones but for like silver looks or any cool toned eyeshadows this is the perfect transition color if you like the naked three palette those romantic rosy colors you're gonna love ho because it's in that same family so this is a matte no shimmer and again this is ho next is nylon and this is a newer color I got it a few months ago absolutely love it this is a really icy gold it's really pale and I love it on the inner corner of my eyes it's the perfect inner corner or brow bone highlight absolutely gorgeous this is another one I feel like would be great for a starter kit because most people want that inner corner brow bone highlight that would be this one so I saved the best for last this one is my all-time favorite eyeshadow from Mac at the moment and this is called brown script it's a warm chestnut brown with ready orange undertones and it's a matte I have been wearing this every single day this summer that I've been doing like a full face of makeup and the way that I use it the most is to smoke out my lower lash line I've been really into a black eyeliner and I smoke it out with brown script and it's just like a hint of that warm brown underneath and I just love the way it looks it's so creamy easy to work with and this is definitely one I wish I would have had sooner if you're looking for a cheaper alternative makeup geek has one called Coco bear that's very similar I'm wearing this right now on my lower lash line and on my lid I guess I should have told you guys what's on my eyes hello so on my eyes right now I have soft brown and saddle Swiss chocolate and brown script and then a little bit of a different darker brown by NARS and this is like my go-to everyday look So that's everything in my MAC eyeshadow palette. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you did. And if you noticed, I have two more slots in here. So let me know in the comments which shadows I should get that you like that I don't have. And whichever ones get the most comments or thumbs up, I'm going to go buy. So ready, set, go. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.